this is going to be great. I can feel it already. Hey everyone, so I want to start this video with a quick disclaimer. First of all, I will put subtitles to this video so all of my German folks can actually understand me because I know a lot of you don't if I speak English so right here there's a CC button you can click and you can follow along. Second, I am German. I am not English. I am not from the US. I just want to put that out there. The little blah. I just want to put that out there because in my past language videos that I've done there were a lot of people that actually thought that I was I don't know American or something. Third, I am not trying to offend you, so if there's anything I do or say wrong or, or anything and you feel offended, please don't feel offended, please. Okay, let's jump into this. I am trying Finnish, Swedish and Norwegian today. I find them to be kind of similar, not in the way that everything sounds the same or something, but you get me, right? I don't have to explain this. Let us start with Finnish because I think Finnish is the easiest one for me personally. <sighs> My name is Nimeni on Nimeni on Julia. What is your name? Mika Nimeshi on. Okay, I take everything back. <laughs> Mika Nimeshi on. Okay, where do you come from? Mista tulet. That kind of sounds like toilet, but okay. Mista tulet. I think I sound Dutch. I don't know why. You tell me. How old are you? Kuinka vanha olet? Kuinka vanha olet? Okay, I am 25 years old. I'm actually not, but... Olen 25 vuotta vanha. I will just pass this one. I have a brother. Minulla on yksi pikkuveli. Minulla... Yeah, right. Minulla yksi pikkuveli. No matter which language I'm trying to imitate, it is not good. Oh my gosh. I'm failing so hard. Um, where do you work? Missä olet töissä? Missä olet töissä? I really sound Dutch. Can I try this on? Voinko sovittaa sitä? Voinko sovittaa sitä? Voinko sovittaa sitä? Sovittaa... It doesn't fit. Se ei sovi. Se ei sovi. I'm just looking around. Katselen vain. Katselen vain. Hello? Moi. Moi. Oh, it's pretty loud outside. Stop it. How are you? Miten voit? Miten voit? Uh, do you speak English? Puhutko englantia? Puhutko... Puhutko englantia? Okay, that's enough for Finnish, I think. Let's try Swedish. Let's do the basics first. Hello. Hey! Hey! Good day! Good after middag. Is she supposed to speak that slowly or... Good after middag. Good night. Godnatt. Godnatt. I am sorry. Förlåt. Förlåt. The great thing about this, we in Germany, we have this uh, sound, so this is actually easy for me. For me? Please speak a little bit more slow. Tala långsammare är du snäll. Tala långsammare är du snäll. Good luck. Lycka till. Lycka till. You're welcome. Snälla. Snälla. I don't know if it's your welcome or please because it's a German app, you know, remember? It says bitte and bitte also means please. But also, you're welcome. So, anyway, good night, sleep well. Good night, sov gott. Good night, sov gott. Where is a tourist center? Varliga turistcentrumet. Varliga turistcentrumet. Can I take photos here? Får jag ta bilder här? Får jag ta bilder här? Swedish actually has a lot in common with German, I think. Are they playing hip hop music right now? I think this is German hip hop. Wow, this is terrible. Okay, I think we have to wait till this is over. Can you not? Just German things. Let's switch to Norwegian. Oh my gosh, I did a cover of Love Will Find A Way from The Lion King 2 in Norwegian. And I remember it being really hard and I sucked at it. Yeah, let's go with the greetings first. Hi, hello. Hi, hello. 
Uh, good morning. God morgon. Oh gosh. God morgon. How are you? Hurdan har du det? What the f- Hurdan har du det? Good. Fint. Fint. Thank you. Tack. Tack. I am sorry. Jeg beklager. Jeg beklager. Wrong. Galt. Galt. Help. Hjelp. Hjelp. Oh, I have lost my purse. Jeg mistet lommeboken min. Jeg mistet lommeboken min. I'm butchering this. Jesus. Okay, uh, I have a problem. Jeg har noen problemer. Jeg har noen problemer. <laughs> Woo! Is there a gas station somewhere around here? Er det en bensinstasjon i nærheten? Good gracious. Er det en bensinstasjon i nærheten? Nærheten? <laughs> oh gosh, that sounded like a German accent. Which you speak in Munich? Okay, let's go for numbers. One. 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 Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Four, which is spelled like fire. That's interesting. Five. 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 Six. 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 Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 Nine. Nine. Ni. Ten. Ti. Ti. Oh my gosh, guys. I think this is enough for today. As I said, I think they're they're pretty similar. They kind of have the same vibe to them. But I actually really enjoyed speaking this. It's not something that I would want to learn, like Spanish or Italian or something, or even French. But it's pretty close to German sometimes. Which I'm not that excited about because I don't like German as much sometimes. Like, come on. We have some really really awkward words that even I have to laugh about every time I hear them. You know the word butterfly. There are so many ways you can say it while still sounding cute or beautiful. Mariposa, farfalla, papillon, and then you have the German word which is schmetterling. And I'm like, why? Who thought about that word for such a beautiful creature? Because schmettern actually means crush something. I don't want to say that German is all shit. This kind of uh, goes for uh, Norwegian, Swedish and Finnish too. That people always think it is a harsh language. You, you should go check out more German and Norwegian and Swedish and Finnish. Anyway, I'm babbling too much. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my attempt to try those three languages. That was the first time and I think I did pretty good. Uh, you should let me know. If you finished the video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And I would say, I don't know, maybe we'll see each other in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.